Hey everyone, what's up? It's Amber Pro here, and uh, welcome to the first game. This is Teddy Bear, made by the person you see on screen, because I forgot. <laughs> Should have paid more attention to it. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, see, what, see what we got going here. Okay, uh, Elizabeth. I like the title screen, by the way. It was really creepy. The title screen was really good. Okay, uh, Elizabeth. Uh, let's keep Elizabeth in there. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. Okay, it's got some RMXP graphics here. Kinda. Like sprites. Ah, thanks, Isabella. I see you remember my birthday is today. Of course I remember it. I'd be a horrible best friend if I forgot your birthday. Not really, because I always forget about everybody's birthday. <laughs> I'm really bad with birthdays. Okay. You are a horrible friend. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have said anything. Since you forgot, you're the fifth year... Oh, for the fifth year in a row. I got dyslexic there for a second. <laughs> Ow, what was that for? Shut up. So apparently she forgot too, so... So, Elizabeth, are you doing anything now? If you have nothing to do, I can buy you the biggest ice cream sundae. Oh, that sounds so freaking delicious. Ice cream sundae. Sounds great, but my dad said, you know, he would leave work early today and take me out for my birthday dinner. For a birthday dinner. Cool. Have fun, Elizabeth. Well, it's getting late, so Isabella and me have to get going. See you later. Oh, uh, that's a hint. They gonna make, they gonna do the nastiest. Alright. So, let's go. I knew he wouldn't leave work early today. Why do I think differently every year? Elizabeth, you're home. I was wondering what was taking you so long. Oh, sorry, the bus came late. You know how it is. I'm ready. Okay. So, um, already I'm I'm really liking where this is going. It's it's got a nice intro, kind of introducing uh the point. It's her birthday. And she's happy her dad came home. And her best friend happy wished her happy birthday, even though she forgot. She's waiting patiently. I didn't even read what I was supposed to do. Do you dress, I guess? There's the evil teddy bear. Huh? Teddy bear? Was this... Is this what Dagon was from birthday? Nope. But it is what's going to kill you. Kind of full of clothes. So, uh, what else can we do in here? Let's examine. Let's move around. Okay. <gasps> Ay! Hi! Did you see what I got you? Hey, don't just stand outside my room like that. You don't give me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, sorry for today. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Can you, can you let me through now? And did you like it? Yeah. To be honest, I don't care for dolls or stuffed animals, but I can't tell him that, or he would become upset. Sure, I love teddy bears. Thanks for the gift. Aww. Glad to hear. A co-worker of mine told me about this nice flea market, and they sell them and said, Oh, gosh. Here we go with the... <laughs> The cliche of creepy bosses. I love it. It seems like almost every creepy boss you hear is. I went and checked the place, and in ten minutes later, I saw an old lady selling toys. Most of the toys she was selling were for boys. But, you know, you talk like a man, so. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. Let's, <laughs> let's go out and eat. Alright. You know, because it's totally safe to buy something from creepy people who, you know, sit at the side of corners. Boy, I'm tired. That was a long day. <gasps> teddy bear moved. Still, I could care less than Teddy Bear, though. I'm glad you're not about me and my birthday present. A birthday present. Stop being dyslexic, Craig. But I don't understand why people like teddy bears. I don't know. Bears aren't cute and cuddly when they're all up close. And personal. No. Uh, stuck with it until I leave this house a couple years. Why do you hate it that much? Hmm. I like how it fades into the light. That was a really cool effect. Hi? Yep, yep. Time to grab the shotgun. What was that? <laughs> or throw a thing in. I don't know. It's the last time I didn't get frog legs. Yeah, frog legs. I never had frog legs, actually, so I can't really say if they're. Disgusting. Sounds like somebody's like farting on a metal chair or something. <laughs> it's really freaking creepy. Actually. This is a teddy bear! 
Ugh, I need a cup of water. Yeah, let's go get some water. First, let's grab a shotgun. No? No, oh, we can't grab a shotgun. No. <sighs> um, no. Oh, okay. This just got, like, real eerie. Looks like there's more blood on that way. Or blood that way. Oh my gosh. Nice blood effects, though, dude. Seriously. Someone's giving birth. <laughs> Sorry. What happened? Who did this to you? Oh. Hello? Hello? I always knew you were evil. Did the ever just talked? That's, uh, English. Kind of. <gasps> but how? The ever just can't talk. Oh my god, I lied about me. Oh no. So I knew it. See, I was kind of assuming that there was like a, a spirit that was possessing the teddy bear, but. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so eerie! Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so freaking creepy! The pop <gasps> Oh no, now they're gonna think that she did it. Dude, this is actually like a really cool freaking game. Already. Every now we got must barricade at all. There's a murder in my house. Miss, calm down. Get on the ground now. What? I didn't do this. It was a teddy bear. A teddy bear. Oh. Dude, that's not something you tell a cop. You could have at least said, dude, somebody came in and, like, you know, wrecked everything. And then you just go see a priest, go to a church, and bring a bed in there and stay in there. <laughs> Don't move or I'll shoot. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, man, that's depressing. The next day. Ah, there you are. <gasps> Who is that? How oh, silly of me. I must be turning old. I put you up for sale yesterday by accident. <gasps> I should have known this would happen. I hope the man didn't have any family or it'd be trouble for them. Anyway, let's go home, Matthew. Right. Oh my gosh, that's like the most eerie freaking thing ever. Okay, so that's... That's the creepypasta. I liked it. That's an interesting. That's actually a pretty interesting creepypasta. Uh, I don't know if we're. Well, I guess we're about to find out if it. Uh, yeah, Water Dragon Games. I guess we're about to find out if. Um, if the creepypasta was like originated from another thing, or if he. Uh, hey, <laughs> it's me. Or if he uh, came off or came up with it, like on his own. Okay, Photoshop. I'm guessing. Oh, okay, that was for the. Uh, okay, the the window skin was from VX Resources at WordPress.com. Cool. Okay, so it was uh, his own creation. Anyway, good job, Water Dragon. That was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was short, to the point, and uh, yeah, I actually enjoyed it. Again, <laughs> I keep saying that. But, uh, I don't know. Okay, so, let me know what you guys think of uh, Water Dragon's games, and let him know what you think in the comments below. And also, don't be afraid to post your own RPG Maker-related videos in the comments below as well. So, I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so very much for watching.